Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. We're out at the Indianapolis 500, the 100th running, and I'm here at the Vintage Indy Racing Group camp. I'm here with Bob Cerno. Bob, good to see you. Bob, nice to meet you, Lou. Good to see you. So, Bob, I'm going to grab the cameras I usually do. What, uh, what did you bring today? We've got a 1958 DA Lubricant uh, special done by Frank Curtis. It was the only car he did in 1958. It's a 500H, Frank Curtis's uh, one of the final cars he made. He only made two or three more after this. So how did this car, first of all, how did this car do in Indy? Well, in 1958, Johnny Thompson put it on the, on the seventh row. It was involved peripherally in the accident that killed Pat, Pat, Pat uh, Fiery, uh in the first lap. Yeah. And it went out after, 20, after about 50 laps. Okay. So it finished in the middle, did not finish the race, but it ran, and then it ran the next year in 59 as the reverse torque special Smokey Eunuch ran it for racing associates okay and uh, and um Dwayne Carter came in seventh overall it ran again in 60 with Don Freeman and again it went out with some kind of damage in the middle of the race so it it started and gridded on three Indies 58 9 and 60. And how did you end up with an Indy car? Well, I've always made. wanted to have one yeah and a friend of mine Larry Fitzemeyer that has a, Rath a Rathman car the number 16 Simonized car, yeah. and I are good buddies, so we were talking. I said, I want an Indy car, and I see this is for sale. Let's go look at it. So we went and looked at it in, in, in uh, Denver, Colorado, and made sure it was a real car, made sure it had good history, and we bought it, and I brought it back to Michigan, and I had Ron Fournier, who had worked for Roger Penske and then A.J. Foyt, help me rebuild it, and we put it back into condition to use in vintage racing, both on road race and vintage ovals. And so you, it's a real car, and, and it really runs. And you gave it a run today. Oh yeah, we ran it today as hard as it would run. How did it run? Ran real great. Good, let's take a look at All it. Right. It is a, come on back with me. All right. Love this chrome grill. That was uh, one of Frank Curtis's uh, new unique looks, you know? Definitely has. And it has a Dubonnet front suspension, um, patterned after the Vauxhall from 1939 General Motors uh, Duvernay front suspension, Let's take a look and it was very that. controversial. And the reason it was controversial yeah. is if you look at this pin right here, yeah. the pins go straight through. Okay. So it had an infinite roll center, and you know when you have an infinite roll center, if the body leans three or four degrees in a corner, yeah. the, put it right here, the tires, they go up and down, but they also lean. Okay. So as Johnny Thompson tried to get it ready for for Indy in 55, 58. The tire patch would get smaller and smaller, so they made it stiffer and stiffer, so it was like a go-kart. Okay. Put it in the seventh row, 142 point something, but uh, could not take advantage of the unique front suspension because they had to make it so stiff. Got it. Had this had a pin at an angle like this, Johnny Thompson might have put it on the pole, and he might have won the race because he put the next year's car on the pole. He was the best driver to never finish Indy. Wow. Nice guy. <laughs> yeah. Great guy. Let me take a look at the side here. The wheels. The detail on that. The way they're hooked up. Then we get one more shot of the front of that without the pin in the front of it. Like so. So, come on with me, Bob, for a second. Right. So, uh, let's get an overall shot of the side of the car. We're fortunate enough that we pulled it out from the tents. This is the way it looked in 1958. It's got a great shape to it, doesn't it? I and, mean, yeah, and um, it kind of looks like a Pinewood Derby car, well, doesn't it? I, mean, I don't know. I don't think, think so. About but, it. No, I wouldn't call it that. But anyway, this is um, the way it looked for the ones. It's I the did. way it looked in 1958. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ray Sherman was one of the better crew chiefs, and Johnny Thompson was one of the, uh, they called him the Flying Scotman. The Flying Scott, and he was good. He was the best, one of the best. He was USAC champion in 58 with the sprint car. The gearing's quite interesting how it pulls down there. So, let me give her a shot of the back of the car. The car is so beautiful in all angles, isn't it? Oh, it is. I mean, this kind of mentally in your head just says race car. Oh, yeah. I just want to get that bottom end. 
there's a pan down there and how that feels. What type of fuel do you put in? We put a pure alcohol. Okay. And we've set this one up kind of special. Yeah, show me. It's got a modern fuel nice. cell. Okay. It's safe for vintage racing. I even have a roll bar that I put on when we're going to be serious racing. Oh, yeah, okay. We put a roll bar on it. Yeah. It's got a fire system. It's got a few little tricks to it. Oh, now, yeah. Why the extra pad on the That's side? That's what of the they head raced with. That's uh, for his shoulder because you're always turning left. I got you. All right. Good it's enough. A lot of fatigue. This is Alan Curtis. That's Frank's son. Just signed it yesterday. That's pretty cool. Let's. Uh... These decals are the way it was liveried out in 1958. Let's take a look under the hood. Come around the other sure. side. It's a lay down offy. Oh, yeah. Let's get. The overall picture, I just want to throw it in on that. Your spark plugs. Magneto's up here. I'm running my fuel pump off the um, cam right there. Okay. It's got the standard Bendix. Pretty standard setup for Carburation, pretty cool. And it's uh, it's all uh, Hellborn fuel injection, so it's... Bob, what a, fun, about it. what a fun car. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I've had it at Daytona, at Darlington, at MIS. I've had it here. Had it in Milwaukee. It's a usable car. Nice. It's set up to have fun with. It's not a museum piece. <laughs> Bob, that's the whole point. We're having a great time. Absolutely. Hey, hey thanks so much for being Thank on my you. car story. Thank you very much. You have a great day.